hello in this tutorial i will show you how you can easily create math quizzes in google classroom so let's say i am in my google classroom and i want to give a quiz to, to my students so let's create a quiz assignment you can also use this assignment option but i will use this quiz assignment option because as soon as i uh, open this uh, it automatically creates a quiz google form okay so let's maybe give it a title and maybe give some instructions like okay. and now i will uh, open this quiz form So give some title. Okay. Now this is our question. So I can actually use different options here. So the first option is multiple choice. But uh, if my quiz actually contains uh, or my question actually contains multiple correct answers, uh, then I I usually use this check boxes option. Okay. So. The question I want to ask is this. The following function has a local minima, this function, at which value of x could be one of these options. So there are four options. Okay. So let's create this question. And now I have to input the equation. So there are uh, different ways of inputting the equation. You can actually create an equation in Microsoft Word or Google Doc and then uh, save it as an image and then import it. So here is this option. So you can actually upload a file or you can uh, actually use by URL. So what I'm going to uh, show today is that you can actually write LaTeX equation online and then use the URL option to easily import the image. There are some free websites that let you convert LaTeX equations into image files. So I can recommend this one, codecogs.com. So you can see the URL from here. So this is actually the LaTeX editor. So when you go uh, to this website, then you are presented with this box. You can write your equations in LaTeX language in this box and it will automatically convert it uh, into an image file. You can actually choose the type of file you want. So I, I can use PNG for Google Classroom. It will be okay. And you can actually also uh, choose the font and font size. And I'm using the transparent background but you can actually use white or black or any other type of background color you want okay so what was our equation so this this is our first equation f of x equals x square root of 5 minus x squared so let's write this, this equation so first f of x then equal then we have x square root then 5 minus x square and it all it already generated the equation here so we can what we can do is actually we can just use copy image address option here and now we can go into this option choose by url and paste the url and it has imported the image so hopefully it will work let's insert image it's loading the image okay. 
Okay. So now the image is inserted in our question. We can actually look at the preview. Uh, this is the student's view uh, of the question. So preview option. And we can see that uh, this line is already written. The following function has a local minima at which value of x, f of x equals x square root of 5 minus x squared. Okay. So now I will write the options in here. So our options, the first option is minus the square root of 5 over 2. So let's try to write it in here. So first minus, then we have, uh, we have actually first fraction, then uh, the first is square root of 5. So let's write square root. And the denominator two. Okay, then copy it. Use this add image option here by URL and paste it here. The image is loading. Okay, we have our first image. Then for our second option, let's again go into this website, type our second equation. Root of five. So again, let's copy the image address and paste it here. Okay. So for our third option. Let's go back to the website and our third option is this one. So square root. Okay, then fraction. And we have five and two. And the final option. It's the same but only a negative sign. So we have our four options. Um, we can actually say which one is the correct option. So option three. And we can assign point here. So let's give the student one point here. Done. So this is one question. So we can actually see the preview here. So here is our question and here are our four options. Choose one and submit. Your response has been recorded. View score. Maybe I will check the score. The following function has a local minima at which value of x. So, so it seems correct. My answer is correct. Total points one out of one. Okay. 
So, so we have learned that we can actually create uh, math quizzes in Google Classroom using uh, very easy uh, language LaTeX uh, that is the standard language for writing mathematical equations and all changes saved in drive so we can close it and we can actually assign it here or we can schedule the quiz for the future and we can of course we can actually assign points due date and include it in one of our topics and if you select this option then the grades the students uh, get will be imported uh, into the classroom okay so here we can see that the mcq is the quiz is actually saved as draft so when we assign it it will uh, it will notify the students about this quiz if you are using a mac then the process can be a little easier especially if you have downloaded the take live distribution of latex then with all the latex engines and libraries you also get four applications so these four applications come with take live distribution and we can use this application latex it to convert equations written in latex directly to image files and the image files can be of PDF, EPS, SVG, PNG, JPEG, etc. formats. So let's go back in our Google Classroom. We can create another assignment. Let's give it a title. Okay. Go to our Google form. and let's write our equation so the question is the following function has a local minima at at which it has of x okay then write this equation in this program so f of x equals x square root phi minus x squared and the shortcut for this let it option is control t common t sorry and this equation is generated now what we can do is we can actually uh, save it so the option to save it is uh, here export image command e so if we press command e and this right equation and it will be saved in my the desktop and we can choose the option uh, for format or extension so let's use the same png option and save it now we can import the image we have just created so if we use the add image option so here we have the option to upload or drag a file so we can just drag the file we have created and it's in our desktop so yes it's already here okay now we can write the options so let's write the first option okay so at first minus then fraction then square root 5 2 yes and let's save it as option 1 and choose png because Google Classroom will not accept PDF. Um, okay. Then write the second option, square root of 5. 
save it as option 2 ok then the third option square root of 5 divided by 2 so at first we write square root then uh, fraction 5 2 and save this one as well as option 3 and the fourth option just has a negative sign in front of it uh, otherwise it's the same as option 3 so same equation we just put an negative sign in front of it and save it as option 4 so I think we have our all options here exported uh, in desktop so we can just import the images here so drag and drop option 2 the same and option 4 Yes, now our question is ready. You can see the preview. Yes, it looks okay. Uh, we can actually select the answer key from here. The correct answer is option 3. And we can assign points. Done. Right. So it's saving. We can close it and if we go back in our query okay. and let's put a wrong answer and let's see what happens your response has been recorded I want to see my score oh I got zero out of one I know this hasn't been a very clean or smooth presentation and I apologize for that However, if this tutorial helps you in any way, then I will consider it as a success. Thank you.